You know, I'll be honest. I'm gonna be honest. I didn't. I don't. Not didn't. I still don't feel like recording this video because I kind of feel like shit right now. It's just a lot going on in my life, and I'm well, at least currently, not really in a good place. I think. Well, but what? Whatever. It's um. I want to talk about severance, right? I love Severance. Severance is such an amazing show. Um, it is interesting how I <laughs> how I decided to start watching Severance. I had seen the name of the show and kind of like the picture of Petey, you know, the main character, pop up over social media occasionally. I knew I knew it was this uh, Apple TV show. But I never really paid any attention to it, and I don't know, it just kind of gave me the vibe of like, oh, the stock Apple TV show. I don't really know what that means, <laughs> stock Apple TV show, because I haven't seen a lot of Apple TV shows, but a lot of them just seem to have similar looks at first glance. Maybe it's like the color grading or something. I don't know, but whatever. I never really paid attention to Severance, right, until... I was uh, scrolling on, scrolling on Twitter and I came across SZA's Twitter. SZA the singer, S Z A SZA. I think that's how you pronounce it. Well, at least that's how Kai Sinat pronounces it. And uh, you know, she had this tweet where she is like, uh, I, I think she tagged Apple or Apple TV where she and she was like, I was really trying to be polite, but I. Uh, I really fucking need another season of Severance right now. <laughs> and I was like, oh, that's nice. And I just kind of, uh, I think that moment kind of piqued my interest in the show. And I was like, hey, you know what? I'm going to check out. I, no, I think I Googled it, right? And then I read the premise for the first time. And I was like, yo, this actually sounds kind of sick. And it was, you know, about, okay, these workers work for this company and they undergo a process called severance where their work memories are completely separated from their uh, off work memories. So basically when they're at work, you know, when they leave work, they forget everything they did at work. And I was like, that sounds like a cool concept. But what I wasn't prepared for was, you know, the fact that that essentially creates two different people within the same body. And I'm going to explain this. It's... It's okay. I, I'm gonna hope that I do a good job in explaining this. And okay, so obviously, spoiler alert. So I don't know why I'm explaining. I don't. Wh I guess if you haven't watched Severance, you maybe shouldn't watch this video because of spoilers. I don't know, but whatever. I'm just gonna say however I feel about the show. I think it was pretty interesting because, you know, when you're at work, right, you only remember things that happen in the office so that means essentially you don't remember your outside life when you're at work you don't remember your family you don't remember growing up you just remember okay this is my workplace and you know on day two you remember what you did at day one at work but that's all you remember so it's eventually you create these memories at work where it's like that's all you've known because your consciousness within the workplace is totally different from your consciousness outside the workplace and it's a situation where it's like you in the workplace, it feels like, okay, you clock out of work and once you just wake up at work, the last thing you remember was clocking out of work yesterday. So it's like, it's kind of like this weird thing I imagine where it seems, it feels to them like they sleep and live at the office because all they remember is waking up at the office and leaving the office, then waking up at the office again, leaving the office again. So it's like each time you wake up, you're at the office. Each time you wake up again, you're at the office. So... I guess it's that sounds very creepy. It kind of gives me I have a fear of small spaces. I don't know what the phobia is, the actual name. And for some reason, I feel like that would trigger my fear of small spaces. Just feeling like I'm living in one office or at least one office building. And, um, you know, the outside and, and, and in, the, in the show, they have terms for. So basically for the versions of themselves that. The versions of their consciousness that remembers only the workplace, those are called any's. And, you know, the regular people, the, the regular part of their consciousness, which remembers their outside lives, those are called outies. So any's and outies. 
And essentially, it becomes a situation where the innies and outies, obviously, because of different memories and, you know, total, totally different memories and everything, they quintessentially become two different people sharing one body. You know, you know, yeah. And, uh, you know, it, it just becomes this whole interesting thing where you know, the main character, Petey, he eventually, uh, while he's out of work, where obviously he can he doesn't know what goes on in his workplace. All he knows is that okay, he works for this company called Lumen, and he's severed. That means you know he's undergone severance to separate his memory. So he he knows okay, he goes to work, he does his work, whatever his work is, and then he leaves. Right, so he doesn't know what actually goes on in the work. And then suddenly one day, this random sketchy looking guy comes to him and starts telling him all this, uh, you know, all this stuff about his workplace that uh you know there's some evil stuff going there you have to figure out some stuff blah 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 you know so his audi that's the version of pd outside of work who doesn't know anything about what goes on inside work starts to get kind of suspicious about work and then at the same time the version his any the version of himself who exists in the workplace basically the one with the work memories is also getting suspicious and everyone at the office is getting really suspicious and they start kind of like digging around and trying to discover what's going on in this place and it's just it's 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 really interesting it's i i don't know if i'd say it's a thriller but you know it definitely has these moments of suspense and especially one thing i like about the show is the vibe the you know kind of like the atmosphere that the office has it's really creepy it's this you know extremely corporate setting where everything is like white super clean you know everything is um it is very corporate very formal the employees they all talk you know the the superiors at the office like the manager the supervisors they all talk like robots you know they're all they all they're all so uh you know formally spoken they talk in this like monotone way of speaking and it's, it just gives off this creepy vibe like what the fuck is going on in this place you know i don't know maybe it's kind of hard to explain if you haven't actually watched the show but the office lumen definitely gives off weird controlling vibes and especially the i forgot her name but the manager the old lady with the white hair god she's creepy and you know it's uh, and at the same time right the manager in the office She's also friends with Petey's Audi. So what that means is Petey on the outside, right? When he doesn't have memories of his work, that version of Petey, she also she she also befriend she also uh, made friends with that version of Petey, so she can kind of keep an eye on what he knows outside work, just in case you know there's any funny business going on. So when Petey comes into work and loses his outside memories, you know she's his boss. But when he goes outside of work and loses his work memories she's just his friend his neighbor so she's keeping an eye on on him and uh you know eventually his pd starts to get suspicious and you know start to discover that there's a thing like regaining your memories from outside it just becomes this whole thing about working towards that to discover what's going on and honestly it i don't know maybe i'm not doing the show enough justice but it is an amazing show it is a really good show it's it's short it's like what 11 episodes i don't really remember uh, it's an Apple TV original, so it's, uh, apparently I heard the new season, I, I can't remember the exact figure, but the budget per episode, I, I heard it's kind of like the biggest ever for any TV show, or, or one of the biggest ever for any TV show, and people are commenting like, what exactly about Severance makes it so expensive, and <laughs> honestly, it's, you, you gotta, you gotta wonder, cause, you know, there's no, I mean, there's probably very little CG, Cause it's like you know it's just the office space and homes and cafes it's like normal settings and you know i don't think any of the actors are like super a-listers that would demand huge sums i mean there's christopher walking though but um i i you know it's it's it, it's just interesting i'm like what's going on with the budget and i think someone tweeted something replying to that saying waffle parties aren't cheap it's it's not really something I can explain. You're not going to find it funny. It's, if you watch the show, whenever they, whenever an employee achieves something, they throw a, kind of like a wa- waffle party. So it's just, I don't know, it's just, it's just a severance joke, whatever. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. But I, yeah, I mean, I honestly can't wait for season two of Severance. 
Um, I, I love the first season. It's it's. <laughs> I I love the first season. I think the next season releases in early twenty twenty. What the fuck? Did I just almost say twenty twenty two? Am I regressing? Early twenty twenty five. God, it's crazy how we're in twenty twenty four already. I'm getting so old. But uh, early twenty twenty five. I think February. And um, yeah, I can't wait to see it. That show made me more interested in checking out more Apple TV original stuff because. I've always heard all this talk about Apple TV and how they have amazing shows, but I, excuse me, I haven't really watched any Apple TV shows apart from Severance. You know, I know, I know a couple. I know like Ted Lasso, Masters of the Air. I did check out the beginning. I just wanted to see what Austin, uh, what uh, Austin Butler is, what what he had going on. But uh, yeah, maybe I will check out more Apple TV stuff. But for now, I'm on Scissors. If, but for now, I'm right behind SZA. I really need a season two of Severance. And by the way, I didn't just watch Severance. I watched it a couple of weeks ago. It's probably been a month since I watched it, but I just haven't gotten around to talking about it. Uh, yeah, what am I going to talk about for my next video? So, uh, yeah, I do write down stuff that comes to my head. There's like stuff I want to talk about. Let me just take a look at my notes on my phone. Oh, yeah. So my next video is going to be about The Lion King, and that's going to be about both the live action and the 1994 animated film. Uh, but uh, yeah, I guess till next time.